feel really weird to talk to you and not, like, nobody's paying attention. All right, here you go, guys. Here's geometry. Finishing it from yesterday, we graphed this line, y equals 1x plus 2. Y-intercept was 2, slope is 1. So we start on the y-axis and then count up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, etc. This line, y equals 2, that's a horizontal line at a height of 2. That's this orange piece right here. And then x equals 5 is a vertical line on 5 on the x-axis and vertical. We are finding the area of this triangle right here. Area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. The base, we can just go ahead and count here. 2, 3, 4, 5. Height, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. Rather than do half of 5 and then take that times 5, let's do 5 times 5 first, which is 25. And then half of 25, you can write that as 25 over 2 or 12.5 or 12 and a half. Either one of those is acceptable. All right, let's look down here at this shape, this trapezoid right here. We can divide this trapezoid up into a rectangle and a triangle. And then find the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle. Area of a rectangle, base times height. Let's just work through that rectangle first. 9 times 7, 63. Area of a triangle, 1 half base times height. So let's look over here. Oh boy. Um, looking, oh, that 9 there, that 9 can come down. And then this whole piece is 14 minus that 9 makes this a 5. And there's 7 for that height. 1 half base, 5 times height for this triangle, 7. 35 first, so 1 half times 35, and that's 17 and a half. And when we add these together, we'll get 80 and a half. Okay, it works very nicely to break a trapezoid up into a rectangle and a triangle. But what if we want to look at the trapezoid in its entirety? So we are going to move on to section 7.4, area of a trapezoid. We're going to start like we did yesterday and divide this trapezoid up. So put two altitudes in here. Let's call that the height and that the height. And you recall trapezoids the bases are parallel. Let's call this shorter base, base 1. And this longer base down here, base 2. And these bases are parallel. All right, look at this. If this piece up here is some base 1, then down here, this is B1 as well. And let's call this piece over here some X, and this piece over here Y. To find the area of this trapezoid, let's find the area of this triangle right here plus the area of the rectangle in the middle plus the area of this triangle over here at the end. Let's color this one orange, brown, and this one's green. All right, area of this triangle over here, 1 half base times height. Its base is x times its height is h. So this is just 1 half xh. Area of this rectangle, base times height. Its base is base 1 times its height. That's all we can do there. 
area of this last triangle. One half base times height, its base is y times its height is h. All right, now let's do some factoring. Clearly there's an h common in all of these guys. So let's pull out that h. 1 half x plus b1 plus half y. All right, now actually I want to factor out this half as well. Even though there's not a half in here, we can. That leaves us with an x. Plus here's a 2 base 1 plus a y. And if you're struggling with that, just think about distributive property. Half times 2 is 1. All right, now we have a little bit more to do here. We have 1 half height x plus, and I'm going to write that 2 base 1 as base 1 plus base 1 plus y. And then I'm going to do some rearranging. x plus base 1 plus a y plus a base 1. Look at this in the original diagram. x plus base 1 plus y, that is base 2. Okay, all of this work just to come up with the area of a trapezoid is 1 half height times the sum of the bases, base 1 plus base 2. Out of all of this, this just showed you where it came from. All I really need you to memorize is that formula. All right, let's plug on through some problems here. Find the area of each trapezoid. First, we write down the formula, 1 half height times base 1 plus base 2. Then we substitute in the numbers that were given. Height here, 9. Sum of the bases, 14 plus a 20. Half of 9, I'm just going to leave that because I don't want to do 4.5. This is um, 14 plus 20 is 34. Now you can multiply in any order, so I would do half of 34 first. That's 17. And now 9 times 17 without a calculator. 9 times 10, that's 90. 9 times 7 is 63. 90 plus 63 is 153 centimeters squared for area. Okay, required steps. You must write the formula. You must substitute in the numbers. You must do some simplifying. Then the answer. Those are your required steps. Ugh. Screen went dark. Um, sorry if you missed it. Pause the video, copy everything down so you can see it. Look at this next one. We want to find the area of this trapezoid. Again, we write the formula to start. Area is 1 half height times base 1 plus base 2. 1 half. Ooh, height. We don't have that. I'm going to leave a space for it right now because I'm going to fill in the bases, which we do know. 17 plus a 30. To find the height, Go back up here to this trapezoid and draw in a height. And we see a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. The hypotenuse 8 square root 2. Sides are 8. There's your height. All right, in this case, because 8's even, I would absolutely do half of 8 first. That's 4 times over here 17 plus 30. That's 47. When we multiply, try to do this in your head. 4 times 40, that's 160. 4 times 7, 28. 
116 and 28 is 188, and these are inches squared. Okay. Be careful on this next one. It is a trapezoid. It's just turned sideways. We can still plug on through the same way. Area is one half height times base one plus base two. The height here, the distance between the two bases, so that's a three. Sum of the bases, eight and 11. Three's odd, so I'm not gonna multiply that by the half right away. And then eight plus 11, that's 19. I don't want to do half a 19 either. So let's multiply the 3 and the 9 together, for, 3 and the 19 together first. That's 30 and 27, that's 57. Now do half a 57, and that's 28.5 feet squared. Gotta work on that mental arithmetic. Okay, looking over here at number 4, again another trapezoid. Let's find the area, write the formula. Height, clearly we can see that as 15. Distance between the two bases. Base one, one of them is 13. Plus, oh, you're gonna have to find the other base. Find the other base here. This middle section right here is gonna be a 13. From here, this piece we have another 45, 45, 90. The legs are congruent. So if that leg is 15, this is 15 which means this whole distance here is 9 plus 13, which is 21 plus, not 22, plus 15, 37. One half of 15 times 13 plus 37, 50. I would do half of 50, which is 25. Now, to multiply this in your head, think money. Think of these 25s as quarters. You have 15 quarters in your pocket. That's $3.75. There's that area. Last one. Okay, so looking at this trapezoid here, area, one half height times base one plus base two. Ooh, no height in here. We'll figure that out in a minute. I'm gonna leave a space. Base 1, 28, plus base 2, 40. Let's drop a height here and drop a height here. This whole thing was 40, which means this middle piece, 28 from that top base. 40 minus 28 is 12. This is isosceles trapezoid, so that 12 has to be split evenly, which makes this piece 6 and that piece 6. Oh, this triangle in here, that's a 36, uh, no, it's not a 30, 60, 90. There's no angle measures in there. But we could divide by two. Oh, it's a three, four, five. Times back by two makes this height eight. Half a eight is four times 68. 240 plus 32 is 272. There are no units in this problem, so we'll write no units in our answer. Whew, thank you very much. Have a good day.